Howdy folks. It's a wet Sunday. A wet cold Sunday in Oregon. The yellow Dodge is back. My garage is a mess as usual. <laughs> what are we doing today? We have um, we got some differential stuff we gotta do. We got a carrier, we got a bearing kit, we got gears. <clears throat> We've been waiting for a while for these parts to come in. Um, I actually had to have Summit resend uh, these parts. Um, the gears and the bearing kit were shipped August 18th. And I let it go for a month, and yeah, they just I had to call them and be like, hey, you know, it's been a month, where are my parts? And they're like, okay, we'll resend them. It's like, okay, geez. So, anyways, we got parts. I'm actually gonna hop in the truck and give you guys a little taste of what uh, this truck sounds like going on the road and why we're replacing the gears. Yep, they finally got new tires. You can already hear it just barely moving. So I don't know if you can hear that. It's definitely coming from the rear end. And you'll hear it when you get on the gas. It'll kind of go away when you let off the gas. Sorta, sometimes. And uh, I checked the oil on this and the oil has probably, it's got less than a thousand miles on it and it is black and glittery. Right, it's good with the new tires and all the shocks and everything we put in it. This thing is rock solid. It actually feels like it's broken in a little bit. The shocks are those things we put in here are a little stiff. They feel like they've kind of broke in a little bit. This truck feels pretty solid. Just with that rear end like that, it's not ideal. Got, got her up in the air, got the differential hanging. Um, what's nice is even though it's raining out, um, I can get to all the brake stuff from under here without having to be in the rain. I'm gonna have to take the brakes off um, to get the axle shafts part way out. I actually wanna take them all the way out and inspect them. I got my kitty. Eh? I'm almost thinking about firing up my diesel heater and uh, getting warmed up down here. And it's a little chilly, but so far I'm staying dry. Now, Pretty sure this is a 355 uh, rear end. But it's missing the tag, so I had to do a little, uh, little bit of figuring out. So I'm hoping I get the right gears. Tried looking at a few sites, even like the Chrysler uh, parts catalog, and tried putting the VIN number in, and it's like, mm, we don't know what's going on. Truck's too old, get a new one. We're lucky we might be able to reuse this gasket we're gonna have to change it again anyways I don't know how well you guys see it see it's black already we just put this oil in like a month or two ago it's glittery I'll put a link uh, probably not right here there'll be a little card right here um, that'll be a link to the first video we did on this truck where we opened up this rear end and found found some things wrong. Well, the gasket's still good. We could probably just put some RTV on it and 
and run it until we change the oil after the break in. Oh. I think I found the old retaining hardware. That's where it went. We got our new stuff here that we got from the junkyard. I cleaned the bottom of this out and there's there are chunks of debris. Um, what I'm really hoping is that his axle shafts are in good shape because um, we're on a budget. So here's what I'm going to do. Since we're mainly focused on the rear end, off camera just to save battery and editing time, I'm going to remove the caliper and its bracket because we need to get the brake rotor off also. And you see how that line's all goofy? I'm going to fix that. So then on both sides we'll be able to get the axle shafts out. Um, I don't think we have to unbolt anything. Um, we just need to get the caliper, caliper brackets, calipers, brackets, and the rotor and everything off. And then when we get this cross pin out, push the axle in and you see that C-clip right there? That will drop out and then the axle shaft will come out. Got the brakes and everything. Uh, taking apart. That was easy. What we need to do is get this cross pin out, which looks like an eight millimeter. It's a little sloppy, but hopefully this comes out in one piece. Let's see, can I get you guys in a little closer? I need to get some different tripods. I need a shorter one for this camera. Hoping this is Loctite that's making this stiff. And I hope this pin is not wore to absolute hell. Same thing with this cross pin. Someone's in a hurry. They're going the wrong way. It's not even towards the liquor store. I'm starting to wonder if we should have just grabbed a whole nother rear end for this truck and just done it that way. <laughs> oh yeah. Of course you can't see it because of the lighting, but it's... Oh boy, that pin is really wore out. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go to the junkyard tomorrow. Well, the cross pin looks okay. Kind of want to leave the spider gears alone. Just pushed an axle in. And there goes our C clip. Let's see, can I reach around you guys here? I might bump into you here. There we go. Hey, just push on the axle. And here comes the C-clip. <clears throat> Go ahead and take this axle shaft out right now. Oh, good. So far, the axle shafts are looking good. Let's see how this passenger side fares. No, I'm just kidding. I remember in the last video, all this stuff was broken and loose. We're going to have to clean out these thread holes. This bearing cap has me just a little worried. Keep everything to one side. I didn't really, oh, set the preload very tight on this. Um, Cause I knew I was gonna be back into this. The bearings are all goofed up. So it really didn't matter all that much. Here we go. Well, what's, what's holding you up? 
I'm just gonna go and grab my Chrysler tool for this and got my special Chrysler tool here. I uh, thought today was uh, Monday. I was gonna go run an app and get some stuff for this and guess what? It's Sunday. Our Napa is closed. What I like about this Chrysler axle, and I talked about it in the other video, is that this one is its kind of like a hybrid of a Ford 9-inch and Ford 8.8. I have an actual tool to go through the tube and Well, what's holding you up? Anyways, I have an actual tool for this. Why won't you come out? I'm waiting for someone to comment and say, you know, there's a tool for that when I just talked about how I have the tool for it. I don't want to move the spider gears around too much, but I actually don't care because it's going in a completely different carrier. It's really raining today, I'll tell you what. Why won't you come out? Huh? There we go. Oh! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, guys. I'm going to end up taking these all the way out, cleaning them up, and get all the dirt and grit off so we can actually move this around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that pinion's toast. Check this out, guys. How do you like that? Yeah, there's... Okay. Now I have to get under there, under here a little bit more, get wet. Get this pinion out of here. Like, oh, Sharpie, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Buried under tools that are interlocked with each other. Here are the bearing races. Not too bad for being uh, jacked up. <laughs> so, okay, let's see, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, So we need 39 teeth. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. 39. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's 355 gear. Talk about lucky. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and the pinion that's in there right now looks just like this one, too. Yeah. 355 gears. I did the RPM calculator on it with the size tires he's got and with the final drive of the transmission. Um. At 55, it's the engine's about 1,500 RPM, so the RPM calc, I confirm that, and then we just count how many teeth we got here. Now there should be 11 on this one, and then if we got 11 on the other, then we got the right gear. Just want to do this part before we get too much further, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
10, 11. We got 11 there. So if we've got 11 on the pinion, then we're good there. So yeah, this differential carrier is all wallered out. It's got big gouges in it, and yeah, it's not good. So we'll spin these spider gears out of here. There doesn't appear to be any shims for these. <clears throat> we'll need to clean these up. I might get some scotch bright and just scotch bright that up so we're not dealing with uh, bad mating surfaces here. Why is this? There we go. Oof. I really hope we don't have to order new spider gears. Because these are these are new. Well they were new. So oh I got new ring ring gear bolts. So you know this whole thing right here? Scrap. Okay. New carrier. And all this stuff is from motive gear. Oh, we already got a differential cover gasket. I forgot about that. We'll save this for the uh, break-in, or after the break-in, I should say. So there's a bearing kit. Look at that. Brand spanking new. Well, I'm out of coffee. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on the new gear. And I've learned with these, I pretty much just set them on here and then just run them down. I'll make sure we're all nice and good here. So it looks like we're using the inner race on this, or the inner bolt pattern. Did you guys hear that duck? Oh, interesting. Left hand thread. So while this is going down the road, the bolt is in the loosening direction. Great, let's see if I can make this easier for myself to line up. So what we'll do, we'll get a screw here started. Now after I tighten these all up and get this gear drawn in, what we'll do is we're going to take these back out and put Loctite on them and then uh, probably what I'll do is when we get this back into the truck we'll torque it. Cool. That was easy. That's it. This just gets better and better by the minute. Also. So. That crush sleeve is no good. This bearing is pretty bad. 
Yeah. Boy, I really got lucky though. Check this out. Uh, 355. I feel a lot better. Um, I was getting worried that I didn't have the right gears, but that's not what I really wanted to show you. Let's uh, go on and get. Let's go take a take a look under here, huh? How did that get in there? <laughs> Sorry if I'm shaking, I'm holding the camera. Oh, this is just full of... I I don't know. I'm I'm lost for words. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight. I uh, knocked out the remaining hardware in there. Let's see. Here's our bearing races for the pinion. I mean, it's not too bad, but Timken, I don't know if these were replaced, so I'm not sure what the, the factory probably uses Timken, but yeah. Well, we got the new carrier pretty much assembled. Um, the next video, I'm going to run to Napa, get some stuff to fix this all up. Or not this, but the uh, spider gears, get those ready. We'll pull... Um, We'll pull this bearing off here and see what shim we got in there and then we'll get our new get a new one which do we get shims we got some shims right here okay good uh, we'll get we'll size up a shim put it on our pinion if we're lucky we won't have to mess with it too much um, I've got a special tool here that will pull the bearings off without killing them so yeah that's gonna do it for this video we got one more Dodge video, one more, and then, and then we should be done with this truck. I'll move on to, well, I'm probably going to start slowing down a little bit while I'm already slowing down. Just getting all these big projects done for the year, and I'm going to start relaxing. <laughs> all right, guys, see you later.